what's up everyone welcome back to the channel we are finally at the airport we are ready to head out to las vegas remember how i told you guys that the trip was to go to las vegas for my wife's surprise valentine's gift first of all we have to have our donkey donuts i can't live without coffee and you guys should probably already know this by now but myself and my wife can't get enough about coffee that sign means nothing but trouble A lot of money lost. Did you say a lot of money lost? Is that what it is? Yeah, a lot of money is getting left behind. It's okay. Crowded places, feel it sinking in. Lonely faces, say you need. Guys, we have finally made it to Vegas. So excited to start this new adventure with my wife. She has not came to Vegas at all. I think I have been, this is gonna be my third time that I come. The only time that I have came here is a uh, business trip. Uh, like I say, I have, uh, I work in the HVAC company with my brothers. But it's an expo where it shows you all these new HVAC equipment, all these compressors, like all these tools, all these accessories for like the HVAC, right? But this time is not a business trip. This time is just have fun and explore Vegas how it's meant to be, and this with my wife. Where is my wife? Wifey. There she is. There she is. Is your bladder better now? Yeah. So what I was telling them is that the only time I have came to Vegas is uh, when I come for business on expos. And we really don't like explore much. Woo! Welcome to Las Vegas! My wife coming into the Bellagio. Go to the lines, go to the lines. Que la viera, que la viera que está aquí en Las Vegas. I miss this smell. I love this smell. I love this smell. Renault loved that horse. And my dad. Oh, to record the horse? <laughs> Tell you, my dad loved this horse. We can do it. Babe, we're going to be coming in and out like crazy. Look at the casino. Alright guys, we finally, we finally made it to the Bellagio, we're about to check in, obviously you guys are not going to want to stick around because this takes a process, but man, let the journey begin. We finally got our key card so we can finally enter our room. Um, we already entered, uh, I didn't know that my battery died, but it is what it is. So this is our room that we got at the Bellagio. <laughs> I do, I am happy. We got we got the shower, we got double mirrors, and we got the king's chair. And we got the wife unpacking. And let's open up the blinds. So this is our room, guys. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's perfect. 
So we got the television here. The only thing I don't like about this view is that there is no view. <laughs> There's a building, building, road, and a little bit of lights. But the most thing that I hate is over there is Trump Hotel, okay? That is not bueno. I do not want to wake up in the morning and come out in my boxers and see Trump, okay? So we're trying to fight for a room that has a fountain view. This is what we came for. So they'll be asking like little kids every day in the morning, afternoon, and night, is they're available at the fountain view. If we have to do an upgrade cost, so be it. We came for a reason. We got the GoPro, so when we do activities, we got the battery charging, we got the, the computer, and I'm already editing like three videos back to back, so you guys better subscribe to the channel, okay? You better subscribe to my plane, okay? Subscribe again, but this time, we just keep this one alive. Let's see what they got, the fridge. Okay, let's go eat. Ooh, good stuff. All right, so right now, our plan is to go find something to eat, because it's literally 10 o'clock, and after that, probably play at the, at the casino for a little bit, and see if we have some luck. If we don't see luck, we'll come right up, take a nap, and literally- Is the charger from the Alexa, the No, that's my charger. So we finally made a decision where to come eat, and we're here at the Lago. What? Look at how much I've drank. Well, I got a fruit punch. I think that's what they gave me. And my wife got a lemonade with sugar. I don't know why. They got some oysters. So we'll see how that settles down with with us right now and we also order some food because we're super super duper hungry can we get some salt please we did it so wrong me you're supposed to break it first i know oh they already break it for you here oh. <laughs> Yeah, because this one came out with the bullion. I feel like it needs more salt. The first one had a lot, that's why I didn't put a lot. Ooh, that was a lot, babe. A lot of what? A lot of hot sauce. That was a lot of spicy too. Yeah, I'm telling you. I hope you should drink out. The lemonade is hitting her. Because we haven't ate. I know. All I have is half of a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Oh yeah. What? Of keeping it in my mouth. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you how to prepare an oyster, okay? I'm gonna show you how to prepare a very delicious oyster, okay? First, you want to make sure that it's not attached, okay? So you don't want to keep this in your mouth for a long time or bite on it. You have to swallow. That sounded wrong, but you have to swallow, okay? You put your lime. Okay, that's about good. And then you get salt. Make sure it's the right one. Okay, salt. That's about good. And then you just want to put a little bit of the tahini. Tabasco. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Why am I saying tahini? Tabasco. Just a drop fish. That should be good for my wife. And then you kind of like mix it a little bit. Yeah, but you put a lot of salt. No, it's not. Trust me. It's because the salt is right here on the shell. You didn't put it on the oyster. <laughs> and then you just... Wow, this food looks delicious. It I have... smells so good. 
I got a wood pot. Ruby Colette. Uh, prime filet. Prime filet. Okay, with some uh, looking broccoli, mashed potato. Risotto? Risotto. 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 Risotto.